The downturn in the car market has resulted in a change from an aggressive seller's market to a buyer's market, leading to some incredible low price models being available. Today, we review the lower end of the supercar market to bring you our top five cheapest supercars in the current car market. The brands we included in our assessment are Ferrari, Lamborghini, Porsche, McLaren, and Audi. To provide you with our top five, we put together a list of five supercars from reviewing the lower end of the current supercar market. Our assessment had to have a lower end cutoff point, so we decided to perform our assessment from the year 2000 onwards so that we could include certain key modern classics. Our top five was prioritized based on the best, cheapest supercar deals in the current car market. This is not the top five cheapest, but rather the best of the cheapest. In effect, best cheapest supercars. So to start us off, in at number five is the Audi R8 V10 first generation model. The Audi R8 V10 was listed initially at £112,500 and is currently trading at between 40 to £50,000 at the lower end of the car market. The first generation of the Audi R8 was released from 2006 to 2015. The Audi R8 V10 first generation model was released in 2009 and had a production run until 2012. The version that we're referencing here is a 2012 edition. Certain special edition versions were released of the Audi R8 V10, and these were called GT variants, with the latest of these released in 2019 and had a production run of only 333. The Audi R8 is one of the most iconic supercars and pretty much defined the term daily driver supercar. Hell, even Iron Man has an Audi R8 as a daily driver. And let's not forget, the Audi R8 V10 is based on the same chassis and engine as the Lamborghini Gallardo. 518 brake horsepower, 390 pound foot of torque, 196 miles per hour. You try telling me those aren't supercar performance figures. That and the fact that the Audi R8 is now trading between 40 to 50,000 pounds, well under half list price, is why the Audi R8 V10 first generation is placed at number five in our top five best cheapest supercars. In at number four is the Lamborghini Gallardo E-Gear Edition. The Lamborghini Gallardo was first listed at 113,000 pounds and is now trading from between 60 to 70,000 pounds at the lower end of the supercar market. The Lamborghini Gallardo could be optioned in both E-Gear and manual transmission versions. The e -gear is in effect a robotized version of the manual single plate gearbox, very similar to the Ferrari F1 gearbox. Only 568 of the manual gearbox editions were sold, and that is because everybody wanted the new technology of the flappy paddle gearbox, so that meant that the manual edition of the Lamborghini Gallardo is actually quite rare, and now, of course, very sought after. When you compare the Lamborghini Gallardo to its successor, which is the Huracan, the Huracan is over twice the price in the current car market. You've got to ask yourself the question, is the Huracan twice the car that the Lamborghini Gallardo is? Answers on a postcard. The Lamborghini Gallardo also shares the same chassis and engine platform as the Audi R8 V10. This means it also brings across the Audi reliability. This and the fact that the Lamborghini Gallardo is currently trading between 60 to 70,000 pounds at the lower end of the car market is why the Lamborghini Gallardo E-Gear is currently placed at number four in our top five best cheapest supercars. If you enjoyed the video so far, please give the video a thumbs up, give it a like, very important for our channel. And if you like our style of content, please think about subscribing subscribing. Now back to the video. In at number three is the Ferrari 430 with the F1 transmission. The Ferrari 430 was first listed at £117,500 and is now trading between £60 to £70,000 in the lower end of the supercar market. The 430 was first released in 2004 and was released with a brand new developed engine designed by Ferrari and Maserati. The 430 had two options for its gearbox, either the F1 robotized manual or the straightforward manual. As with the Lamborghini Gallardo, most people wanted the new technology paddle shift gearbox. Therefore, very few people chose the manual gearbox. This meant that the manual gearbox edition is now very rare. And of course, with the way how things have changed over with the F1 style latency shift, single plate clutch derived gearbox being quite dated, the manual gearbox is very sought after and therefore commands quite a substantial premium over the F1 style edition of the 430. The Ferrari 430 is aging quite well. And along 
the lines with the Lamborghini Gallardo and the Audi R8 has become quite a modern classic supercar. And as I detailed earlier, with the manual transmission editions really sought after and commanding quite a substantial premium. Similar to the Lamborghini Gallardo and the Audi R8, the Ferrari 430 is now a modern classic supercar, but the Ferrari brand brings more cachet. And this is why the Ferrari 430 is at number three in our top five best cheapest supercars. Our runner up in at number two is the McLaren MP4-12C. The MP4-12C was initially listed at £168,500 and is now trading between £65,000 to £75,000. That's an incredible deal. That's some £100,000 price drop. For interest's sake, the MP4 in the name stands for McLaren Project 4. And this is in association with the purchase of Ron Dennis's company named Project 4 merging with McLaren. Later derivatives of the MP4-12C dropped the MP4 part of the name, so the car is commonly now known as the 12C. The MP4-12C was launched in 2011 and had a production run until 2014. It was launched in direct competition with the Lamborghini Gallardo, the Audi R8 and the Ferrari 458. Yet the 12C substantially outperforms the Ferrari 458 and is some £40,000 cheaper in the current marketplace. And yes, the MP4-12C had some reliability issues, but with companies such as Forney Motorsport being available now who specialise in servicing the McLaren MP4-12C, these issues aren't such a concern as they used to be. With the bank for buck you're getting with the MP4-12C at £65,000 in the current marketplace, with its 592 brake horsepower, 443 pound foot of torque, propelling the car to 207 miles per hour top end, that is why the McLaren MP4-12C is at position number two in our top five best cheapest supercars. Have you guessed what might be at the top deck at our number one position? And at number one is the McLaren 650S. The 650S was initially listed at £195,000 and is currently listed at between £75 and £90,000 at the lower end of the supercar market. The 650S was initially launched in 2014 to succeed its predecessor, the MP4-12C, and had a production run until 2016 when it was superseded by the infamous 720S. A track-focused edition of the 650S was created called the 675LT and this has become one of the most most renowned and sought after supercars in its price bracket. The 650S has incredible performance that exceeds many of its competitors that are over twice its price and taken into account it's over £100,000 below list and some £150,000 cheaper than the 675LT. This is why the 650S holds the number one position in our top five best cheapest supercars. Do you think I got it right? Let me know. What would be your top five in the lower end of the supercar market? I'll be interested to know. Now, which would I choose of those top five? Now, obviously the 650S, it's come number one, so I would obviously choose the 650S, but I must admit, I've been warming quite a bit to the MP4-12C. Hell of a lot of bang for buck that car and incredible performance when you compare it to the Ferrari 458. If I was gonna choose and they were all priced about the same, I think I would actually choose the MP4-12C. I bet that's a bit of a shocker.